Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Pokemon Tower Defense. This time we are going to be battling it out with Moltres in order to obtain her child and use it for the purposes of battle. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing alright. So yeah, um, the previous two were on the easy side because the the flying and the ice and electric types cancel each other out. So they're actually so we're actually able to obtain our stab bonus and actually do damage with with our regular abilities um, without having to like teach any weird abilities to the Pokemon. So that was really lucky, or not maybe lucky, but that was that that that, that, that that's what made those ones interesting, at least or er, easier at least. Um, but for Moltres, there's not much else for it. You can't really attack with fire. That's not really going to work. That's not going to get you very, very far against Moltres. So, what I've actually done is I've actually taught each of these guys something quite interesting. I haven't been able to get my hands on a Shiny Magmar or Ponyta because I don't have the blue version and because I just haven't found a Ponyta. It's been elusive. Shiny Rapidash, rather. Where is... Nine Tails. It's white. It's hard to... Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly go over what I have everyone taught. These guys can actually learn rock moves, and rock is four times effective against Moltres. The mouse is being weird, I can't click. So, rock tomb and rock slide. So this one does less damage, but it has a flinch, cha flinch chance and 100% slow, so that's very good, obviously. Rock slide does a bit more damage, um, but has a longer cooldown, so it's a bit of a trade-off. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with rock tomb. Uh, on one limb at least, all, at all times. Rock Team seems a bit better to me. And that will do four times damage against Moltres, so that's obviously very good. I have the same setup for Charizard. Rock Team and Rock, well, rock Slide. Um, Arcanine has actually a lot of things here that, that are really very useful. Helping Hand, Giga Impact I taught him just because um, I could. <laughs> and he has a high, he's, very, he's a very on the physical side. So I found that, but Thunderfang definitely is what we're gonna want to do. And what's useful about having abilities on them that actually uh, are su are super effective is because you can actually target them with that was through through the super effective targeting ability. And Vulpix is completely useless, so I thought taught her Tail Whip because we're gonna be doing a lot of physical damage um, to Moltres, and his his slasher special defense is very high. Um, helping Hand, very useful here, and probably ro Crunch, I guess, is the only other thing I, c I would do on him. But mainly, he's going to be our Helping Hander. And Nine Tails actually is on more of the special side. So, I taught her Psy Shock for the reason of, for the reason being that it does physical damage, and we have a Tail Whip going, and we have a and we have a uh, we have a Tail Whip going, and we have a. Uh, Oh, and because, sorry, and because it'll, it'll attack enemy, all enemies in its path, meaning that we don't have to do any special targeting. It's going to hit, it's going to hit him, so that that's very, very useful in this kind of situation. So yeah, that took a bit too long, but, uh, whatever. Route 23 entrance to Victory Road. I managed to get through. The, en the entrance should be nearby. Victory Road, the last challenge for trainers before the Elite Four and the home of... Moltres! Moltres! <laughs> Moltres, I'm here to capture you. Moltres says you're sending a message. Goodbye for now. Moltres said you would fight me now. Ha <laughs> ha. That always gets me, dude. I'll take you on, Victory Road. <laughs> awesome, okay. So first we're going to want to get a tail whip up there. Um, second thing we're going to want to do is probably get Charizard, maybe do Rock Slut, Rock Tomb. For the slow chance, definitely. I'm um, gonna get this guy up here for the uh, Thunderfang. Get if we get him useful. Let's try to get a uh, Helping Hand going eventually. But first, we're gonna want to place these guys here. Oh, the Helping Hand went too soon. Uh, Slash Shock. Okay. So wait, let's get. Oh, here's more trays. Okay. Let's get him to target super effective, please. Um, okay, good. He, that 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 affected more trays. That's very good. Um, so now I guess we'll just stick him on extra sensory for the meantime. Um, yeah, he'll he'll definitely hit, because, like, these guys aren't super effective against... Yeah, look, look, look how much damage he's doing there. Um, super effective, please, not at least health. Uh, super effective... It doesn't really matter what he's on. Um, you would definitely have to be on super effective. Um, and do we have you on Rock Tomb? Okay, yeah, Rock Tomb's a bit... Look, look how much damage Moltres has already taken. My god, dude, this is just, this is ridiculous. Um, 
give us another helping hand, please. Thanks, dude. Um, where are you, Growlithe? Crunch, maybe? I don't know, it doesn't matter what you target. Look at that, on the first round, dude. On the first wave. Well, actually, no, she's very, he's very slow, so it's not on the first wave. Technically, it's about... But yeah, we're doing so much damage, it's kind of ridiculous, this Moltres. I might, I may have overthought it. <laughs> to be honest, I thought I was just... Because this was, this thing seemed like it was going to be the hardest one. I may have overthought this, though, guys. <laughs> um, we're doing, like, a little bit too much damage right now. Uh... <laughs> Um, let's get let's get the defense lowering from Vulpix now, for a bit here. There we go. And Charizard's probably gonna finish him off if Growl if Arcanine does not. Yeah, all all the flinch chance and slow we've got going. Yeah, it's obviously very good. Obviously very good. So thanks guys for watching. We now have within our within our grasp the power of the three legendary birds. Next time. We are going, well, next time in this series, next time we're going to be taking on the Elite Four and then facing the champion. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea if it's going to be anything like the original games or whatsoever. It's going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to try to maybe formulate a special party for it. Like, like I was thinking to formulate like the most meta party from uh, first gen. So like Gengar, Starmie. <laughs> Snorlax. Oh, I don't have a shiny Snorlax, so that might take a while. Aerodactyl. Look at those kind of things. Um, but no, we're no, we're gonna want to use the three legendary birds, right? You want to see the legendary birds in action? They look so cool. Like they're they're like 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 Zapdos is like twice the size of like Charizard sitting on this little like square. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for uh more Pokemon Tower Defense in the future. Just while this level finishes up. Turn this on to the end. All these fire moves. Rock moves here in this place. Lightning moves, yeah, like in this place. I found this baby Moltres. That was good training. Intense. Awesome. Elite 4 is obviously already unlocked. Come on, give me that baby Moltres. Give me that baby Moltres. Yeah, give me that baby. Oh, I'll see you, baby. Come on, baby. Woohoo, baby ball trays. Awesome. That's awesome. Giga Impact, too cool. Oh, thank you guys for watching once again. Oh, I hit the table. And be sure to stay tuned for more Pokemon Tower and Tower Defense coming right at you. Later. <laughs>